Get your travel facts here. Welcome to Travel Plans. My name is Dean. I just wanted to say hi. I hope you enjoy this video. I'm trying to improve and make sure that you the viewer are getting the information you're looking for. I'd love to hear from you with some suggestions for new places to visit. So please comment and send me your requests. If you like this video please subscribe, share, like and hit notifications, as I publish new videos every other day. Bye for now, I hope to hear from you soon. Lucy Almost everyone has heard of Lucy. Australopithecus, the three and a half million year old hominid remains were discovered in Africa in 1974 by Donald Johansson a paleoanthropologist and his team. But not everyone knows that she was discovered in Ethiopia. Ethiopia is often referred to as the cradle of humanity because of Lucy. If you want to see Ethiopia, Lucy should be on your list. She can currently be seen in the National Museum of Ethiopia in the capital Addis Ababa. Spices Ethiopia is famous specifically for its spice mixtures such as berbere. Ethiopians enjoy many of the same spices that are used throughout Africa and the world, but their spice mixtures are unique and contain many native spices. Ethiopia owes a lot to foreign visitors over time. The spice mixtures used in Ethiopia would never have existed without foreign contributions. Ethiopian creativity came up with wonderful flavor combinations like berbere, which is the key ingredient in the famed Ethiopian dish, wat. Berbere consists of spices such as cinnamon, cardamom, cumin and black peppercorns. The Lion of Judah The Lion of Judah statue is located in Addis Ababa, the nation's capital. A national icon and symbol of the Ethiopian emperors. It was made in 1930 by Georges Gardet, a French sculptor. It was presented at the coronation of the Emperor Haile Selassie. It is located at the Addis Ababa railway station, marking the end of a major thoroughfare in Addis Ababa, Winston Churchill Avenue. There is a long and difficult past associated with this statue and what it has represented. It's unique and significant to Ethiopians. A must-see for anyone visiting Ethiopia. Honey A famous product of Ethiopia is white honey from Tigray. Often used for cooking but it is best known for its use for making a honey wine. It's known as Ethiopia's liquid gold, it has long been an important part of Ethiopian culture. Ethiopia is the largest producer of honey in all of Africa. It is believed that, carrying honey as one of her gifts the Queen of Sheba brought with her when she visited King Solomon. Like coffee, honey is one of the more important products Ethiopia is known for. Bale Mountain Bogoma Mountains or the Bale Mountains, as they are known, a mountain range located in the southeast of Ethiopia is a part of the Ethiopian Highlands. This range is home to the Bale Mountains National Park also including such mountains as Talu Demtu, the second highest mountain in Ethiopia and Mount Batu. This is a very large and beautiful example of what Ethiopia is known for. Kitfo A yummy meal that Ethiopia is known for is the dish, kitfo or, as it is sometimes spelt, ketfo. It's a dish made from minced raw beef marinated in mitmita, a red-orange spice blending African chili peppers, cloves, cardamom, and salt. 
as well as clarified butter. If it's slightly cooked, it's then called kitfo leb leb. Sometimes the dish is mixed with a mild cheese called aib, or cooked greens. The dish is usually served with flatbread made from teff, also known as William's Lovegrass. Kitfo is usually served during the holidays. It is definitely one of the things to try when you are in Ethiopia. The Obelisk of Aksum The Obelisk of Aksum was built in the 4th century of Phono Light, it's a 24 meters obelisk in the city of Aksum, Ethiopia. Called Hor or Halti in the native language, is one of many monuments in Aksum. These monuments are believed to be markers for tombs. The Obelisk of Aksum was removed in 1937 and taken as a souvenir by Italian soldiers. It was then moved to Rome where it stood with the Lion of Judah until its return in 1947. The obelisk still stands in the city of Aksum. Danical Depression In the Horn of Africa, on the northern part of the Afar Triangle, lies the Danical Depression caused by a triple junction of tectonic plates. Located on a plain near Eritrea, this feature was formed from a combination of erosion, rising and falling of the ground, and encroachment of the sea. You should experience this awe-inspiring place. Coffee. Coffee may have originated as a beverage in Hara, Ethiopia. The coffee plant, Coffee Arabica, has its origins in Ethiopia. The story goes that a goat herder from the 9th century found the plant when he noticed how erratic it made his goats. This story however didn't appear until the 17th century. Coffee is critical to the Ethiopian economy with 60% of the country's income coming from sales of coffee. If you're coming to Ethiopia, make sure to have a fresh cup of coffee from its original home. Lake Tana. The biggest lake in Ethiopia is Lake Tana. It's the source of the Blue Nile, known as Abi. It is a vital tributary for the Nile Basin watershed. Located in the Amhara region of the northwestern Ethiopian highlands. The lake has many islands, some are inhabited. Some islands are known as burial places for Ethiopian emperors. One island, Tana Kakos, is believed to be the place where the Virgin Mary rested on her return journey from Egypt. Of all the things Ethiopia is famous for, Lake Tana contains many of them. There you go, 10 reasons to come and explore Ethiopia. Believe me there's much more to this fascinating country. Let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe. Notifications. Like. Comment. Share. See you next time.